Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to do a clean install of your NVIDIA driver. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to the NVIDIA website and download the latest driver for your card. So product type, I have a GeForce product series, I have a RTX 3090. So that's selected. I am on Windows 10. If you're on Windows 11, select Windows 11. Game Ready Driver and English UK. Click Search. The latest driver is 535.98. Click Download and Download. We will save this to Downloads. What you want to do after is you will want to download NV Clean Install. Latest version is 1.15.1. .1. Click download. And we'll save that to the downloads again. And the last bit of software we need is display driver on installer. I'll put the links to these downloads in the video description. We can click download and we can just click there actually and click save yep allow we don't want it twice so once we have them what we can do is we will extract this get rid of that so we have mv clean install we have display driver on installer and we have our nvidia driver that we just downloaded first thing we're going to do is right click on mv clean install run as administrator we're going to use driver files on disk click browse go to downloads and you want to click the driver that you've just downloaded which in my case is 535.98 click open and click next select components to install so if you click on them, on the right hand side it will tell you what they are, what they do. You can also go down here, you can select all, recommended or minimum. I go for the recommended which includes that and that. I use audio via HDMI so I always select these, these three options which are the recommended. You may need USB-C driver, you may need Optimus select the things that you need or just click the recommend recommended and click next this will unpack the installer and we can select some further tweaks once we are done doing this while that's doing i'll just open up display driver on installer i believe it needs to be extracted still yep click extract and we have our folder here so we'll drag that to the downloads and we can delete this one so we have our application here ready to go now this is done so Installation tweaks, disable installer telemetry and advertising, perform a clean installation. We'll be doing this via display driver and installer anyway. Add hardware to support, not needed for me. Uh, enable DLSS indicator. You can enable this, it uh, gives you an overlay in the bottom left showing what it's rendering at resolution wise and what. Uh, DLSS version you're using I don't like it so I'll turn it off disable multi-plane multi -plane overlay MPO enable that and show expert tweaks disable driver telemetry uh, I want the NVIDIA control panel so I'll leave that disable the HD audio device sleep timer Enable message signaled interrupts. 
interrupt policy priority is high i like to disable hdcp although if you do have issues try it with it unticked and i will also tick these just to speed up the installation so these are my personal preference settings fairly standard but you may want to tweak slightly so we'll click next and once this is done your customized install is now ready you can install it show it in the folder or build package you want to click build package this will take a couple of minutes and it will create i've already done this it will create your own 535.98 nvidia drivers so this is the one i did earlier so moving on to the next step and that is using display driver on installer to clean install our graphics card so if you if you have an ethernet connection you can go to change adapter options and all you want to do is disable your internet whether it's wi-fi or ethernet you can unplug your ethernet cable if it's easier I just click disable that so my internet is now turned off the reason being is when you restart uh, we don't want Windows update to be installing any potential drivers for our graphics card the next step is we're going to restart in safe mode so to do this you want to hold down the shift key on your keyboard press start press power and click restart you want to go to troubleshoot advanced options startup settings and click restart press number four and that will put you back into safe mode okay so we are back in safe mode so our internet is disconnected and all we want to do now is want to open display driver on installer so we'll right click run as administrator click ok we can close this now select device type gpu if you previously had an intel or an amd graphics card you can select intel and then click clean and do not restart if you had an amd do the same clean and do not restart and then nvidia what we're going to do is click clean and do not restart so we'll click that we'll let it run you can see at the bottom what it's doing And then once it's done, we can install our own NVIDIA graphics card driver that we created earlier. This shouldn't take too long, maybe a minute, maybe. There you go. Finished. Clean on install completed. Would you like to exit? Yes, we can exit. We'll then go back to our downloads and mv clean install 535.98 we'll right click run as administrator do you want to install yes extracting come up at the top mv clean install is monitoring the active nvidia installation click agree and continue uh, I'll go custom, advanced, click next. Perform a clean installation. We've already done that anyway. 
but we'll just leave it ticked and we currently have no graphics driver and no audio driver so I want to make sure this is also ticked new version 535.98 click next and that is it once it is installed you can restart your computer connect your internet back up and you are good to go if you like the video please like subscribe and comment